Mrs. Meyer suffers from aggressive sciatic pain typically felt from the lower back to behind the thigh and radiating down below the knee. She's had the pain for six weeks. Seeking help, she contacted Dr. Keenbacker. Dr. Keenbacker is an orthopedic surgeon and back pain specialist in Graz, Austria. She's already tried massage, physiotherapy and osteopathy. Her general practitioner gave her injections in her back and painkiller tablets. But everything she tried was ineffective. Sciatica is diagnosed with a certain orthopedic examination and medical history. The typical symptoms and certain examination maneuvers help Dr. Keenbacker to find the right diagnosis. The MRI findings of Mrs. Meyer confirm the suspicion of Dr. Keenbacker. The sciatic pain in the lower extremity results from a lumbar disc herniation directly pressing on the nerve root, a common problem. In that case, I suggest to treat the patient with a minimal invasive laser surgery method called percutaneous laser discus decompression, or in short form PLDD. Laser energy is delivered by a laser fiber through a tiny needle placed into the nucleus pulposus. The application of laser energy evaporates a small amount of water in the nucleus pulposus. This leads to a reduction of intradiscal pressure and causes the herniated disc material to recede toward the center of the disc. You can also say the discus shrinks, thus leading to reduction of nerve root compression and relief of radicular pain. After assessment of the correct disc level by using a fluoroscopy, a needle is inserted into the center of the disc under local anesthesia. So there are no risks associated with general anesthesia and no risk of nerve root injury because of the patient's contact feedback. Mrs. Meyer feels no pain during the treatment. Since its introduction in the 80s, PLDD has established itself worldwide as a minimal invasive, outpatient and safe treatment of herniated disc disease in the spine. <laughs>